Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to another Elusive Target announcement video. My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and this is going to be Elusive Target number 14. It's going to take place tomorrow on the 18th of November and it's going to take place at uh, 2 p.m. Central European time, uh, 5 a.m. Pacific time, uh, 1 p.m. UK time and as always 8 a.m. Eastern time. And uh, the target is called the chef. I'm going to show you the image of what we have right now. Now they didn't really share any information about this target. All they did was release this image really. And they moved on to the second thing that they was going to announce. But uh, this is all the information we have for you. The fact that this is chef. It's going to be in Paris. And uh, he's there for a week once more. So I'm guessing for every elusive target from now on. It's going to be uh, for seven days. So it gives a lot of, uh, a lot of people a lot more time to... Uh, tackle these elusive targets. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult if it is in Paris and he is actually in the kitchen uh, like it suggests in the picture. Uh, yeah, actually the picture doesn't really um, I don't really recognize, recognize that image at the back. I'm not completely sure. I haven't really been to the kitchen too much in Paris anyway but there should be several uh, opportunities there. Maybe you can uh, poison some food that he's cre uh, cooking or you can use a fire extinguisher because there's literally one just hanging on the wall just in the, the kitchen itself or you can sabotage the stove maybe there's, there's an abundance of uh, different opportunities I'm sure that will arise come when this elusive target hits tomorrow so I will be covering that in a live stream uh, 15 minutes before the elusive target goes live so I will be covering it as usual trying to tackle this silent assassin suit only so make sure you subscribe and tune in for that so we can move on to the second bit of what they wanted to announce, and that is a new uh, the new rules for elusive target rewards. Now, as usual, it's always been uh, if you complete five elusive targets, you unlock the absolution suit. For ten elusive targets, you unlock the blood money suit, and for thirteen uh, elusive targets, you unlock the signature suit with gloves. Now they're going to change a few things on how it all works with regards to new suits that are going to be released from elusive target number 14 and then on. So uh, what it actually says here in the blog, it says for completing elusive targets, we have some very unique rewards that can be earned. Remember that you need to achieve all objectives and exit the mission to complete the elusive target. You want to make sure that the suit rewards you will earn through elusive targets are prestigious and that they can be unlocked at a faster rate. Starting with elusive target number 14, we have made adjustments to how players unlock future elusive target suit rewards and the image below shows all the suits that can be unlocked through elusive targets and the requirements for earning them. And this is the image they were actually talking about. And I'll continue and it says it's important to note that these adjustments won't affect anything you've already unlocked or your progress to unlocking the three accumulative suits that have already been released, which is the absolution suit, the blood money suit and the signature suit with the gloves that have been the three awards available so far. It's equally important to note that the new reward system comes into effect starting from elusive target number 14 tomorrow, meaning that you cannot retroactively unlock suits based on previous elusive targets. If you want that winter suit, you will need to complete five elusive targets with a silent assassin rating starting from elusive target number 14. So if my calculations are correct, after you've completed elusive target number 18, you should be able to unlock that winter suit with the gloves. Um, it does go on to say if you've not completed any elusive targets at all and elusive target number 14 is the first one that you attempt you will still be able to unlock all of the rewards in the image uh, image shown however if you wait too long and miss slash fail too many elusive targets you won't be able to unlock all of the rewards so there is plenty of elusive targets still to come obviously um I mean, I like the winter suit with the gloves, so I'm guessing after we complete the elusive target in Paris, which is tomorrow, the elusive target number 14, we should unlock the tuxedo with the gloves, and we should unlock the terminus suit as well, if we complete it with a silent assassin rating, which is my complete intention. So we need to have an elusive target in all of these locations to unlock these suits individually. So we need to complete an elusive target in Paris to unlock the tuxedo with the gloves, complete one in Sapienza for the Italian suit with the gloves and so on for each map. It could be a while before we get a Colorado and a Hokkaido elusive target so it could be a while before you get those. However the Colorado and Hokkaido elusive target suits don't look very good anyway. Considering that Colorado, I mean look at it, it's just the head teacher's hat painted a different colour. 
<laughs> it seems it looks a bit silly the fact that he's uh, wearing a tactical gear with a hat, but maybe some people like it that way. But um, personally, I'm most interested in the tuxedo with the gloves, the summer suit with gloves, and the winter suit with gloves. They all look very nice, and uh, yeah, so it should be quite interesting. So we're going to head up, uh, head on to tomorrow's elusive target, and we should unlock the terminus suit and the tuxedo with the gloves. I'm going to help you with that every step of the way, as usual. And uh, I'll be trying to get you to do that silent assassin racing. I'm going to be trying to do a suit only walkthrough. And if there's an easier way to do it, just by doing a silent assassin, that we'll be covering that as well. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a special video, maybe uh, like a sniper rifle special or something like that, on the regards to that. But um, yeah, it should be all quite interesting. I quite like the new system. It's not overly complicated like I thought it might have been. Um, so. It should be quite good. We've got plenty of suits coming, plenty of elusive targets going to head our way onto the game between now and when uh, they've decided to stop doing the live content. I'm, my guess is going to be another 20 elusive targets at least. I'm not completely sure. I'm hoping there's going to be even more suit rewards after this and hoping you can use all these suits anywhere. It'll be funny to use the, um, the Hokkaido suit in any of the maps. That'll be quite interesting. Um, I'd like to use the tactical gear from the Colorado and all the maps, however, I just don't want that silly hat. It'd be good if you could just take that off, but uh, um, we'll just have to see, wait and see what it looks like, really. But the tuxedo with the gloves looks quite nice, and I'm quite interested in unlocking that, so hopefully we can unlock that tomorrow. So All we've got to do is to complete that, and if we get a silent assassin, we'll unlock the terminus uh, suit as well. So there's plenty to look forward to, so make sure you are, make sure you are subscribed to this channel for the complete guide for doing a complete silent assassin for all these elusive targets and for future elusive targets as well and uh, that's going to do it for this video so thank you very much for watching guys be sure to drop a like on this video uh, and comment below and see, let me know what you think to this new unlock system and as always guys I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you in tomorrow's live stream for the elusive target at 1pm UK time and I'll see you then cheers